به مناسبت ماه مبارک رمضان و روزداری اوضاع سختی رو یادآوری کردم که آخوندها گرسنگی و بیخانمانی رو On the occasion of Ramadan, the month of fasting, I recounted the unbearable conditions in which the mullahs have imposed hunger and homelessness on the Iranian people. Thus, they have clearly revealed the nature of reactionary Islam and their enmity to Islam, justice and equality. At the same time, I must add that the poor, those fed up with the current situation and those plundered, formed the powerful force of rebellion and revolt against Khamenei's vulnerable rule. This explosive situation empowers the forces of the uprising and the valiant members of resistance units. No doubt, the religious tyranny, having failed in all intellectual and ideological spheres, will not survive in the face of this enormous force, the resistance units and the great army of freedom. And this is how the Iranian people's destiny will be decided. And I am just back from a small town on the outskirts of the Kiev city. This name of this town right now is known all over the world. And the name is Bucha. They decided that we cannot exist. They decided to commit genocide on my people. Because my decision to go to this terrible place, to take this darkness inside me, was made because at some point I want every war criminal to be prosecuted. I know what happened in Ashraf. And I want to tell you that I now can understand what happened there. I want to make sure that every single war criminal will be found and will be placed upon the court. I feel bad that as, as, the, as Ukrainian, I haven't paid enough attention to other, um, to other countries, to plight of the other, um, to, uh, to the plight of other nations. And I think I did not realize that the tyranny can only be fought when all nations of the world, all people of the world, uh, will, um, will unite and will fight them together. And I think, unfortunately, this understanding only comes through experience. Until I got bombed, until, I, uh, until our uh, until we all were in Kyiv when the bombardment started, until I've learned of families and friends who were executed and massacred. Uh, until then, I couldn't really relate and realize to the pl plight of other people and nations. And I think this is the lesson for us all in Ukraine, that there are no borders and the tyranny and inhumanity is dangerous for everyone and we all should fight together to stop this. So if I get out of uh, this uh, and I get out of this in a condition to be able to help others, I'll try to do more than just focusing on Ukraine. That now I can relate to the fight that you are having, to the fight that other nations are having. Uh, brothers and sisters, what I'm receiving on the international press and what has been also reported right now remind me of situations and events that took place in Ashraf. Brothers and sisters, you remember very well that those days, nobody will report about Ashraf. Kill 36, 
or 52 or whatever deprive them from access to medical services, nobody will talk about them. The Associated Press, AFP, Reuters, they were all silent. I was the person who managed to break that silence and brought the atten to the attention of the world what's happened in Ashraf.